What's up everybody? Grid by Guru here and I am going to talk to you guys a little bit about a trade. Um, I was going to post this trade earlier and then I thought, you know what, I, <laughs> I don't want to post it yet because I want to um, make a video about it. I am going to post it on Pinex though, the parameters that I've put in and um, what I have done. So if you guys are interested in copying this trade, okay, it will be in Pinex. But first, do your own research and make sure that it is something that you want to do. All right, and I'm gonna show you why I took this trade. If you're not part of Pinex, click the link below, subscribe or subscribe to our Discord, subscribe to our Telegram, um, and get involved with us. If you do use the link below, let me know and I will help you get started with at least, I bet you could get started right now with five, five USDT, okay? Um, the hardest part is probably gonna get be getting your USDT that's that's the trouble that I have a lot of people who run into. They have trouble getting it, and then because um, it takes a little bit, sometimes they use banks, and then sometimes their banks like, uh, uh we don't want you using crypto, and uh, it's it can be a mess. However, let me know, send me a DM, and I will get help you get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and get it. SLP USDT Smooth Love Potion. Um, you know, the thing about crypto is you come across some really, 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 um, interesting words or, uh, names for coins. SLP, this is going to be one of them. I think that's just a silly name. It is what it is though. And I see potential here. So let's check this out. I ended up taking a trade and I put in, I started a grid bot. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tell you where and what my parameters are. So let me pull it up real quick, make sure that I get them right. Okay. So here is my first parameter. My first parameter is um, 8.5 or 0 0.085. And my second one is... I'm shooting, I'm shooting for the moon, y'all, is 20. Okay. It's 20. Now, I did end up, it was around in here, I think I ended up taking a trade, um, a manual trade, on about $20. And so I missed out on that profit. So that's one of the reasons why I'm going to close this whenever I hit to $0.20, cents because I do feel like it is going to go back there. And I got some other trades that are waiting on that 20 cent mark as well. 20 cent and 19 cents, I think. Yep. So let's go ahead and let's get started. I'm going to show you why I took these areas. All right. What I'm going to do is it, it doesn't have a whole lot of history. Um, if you've been watching, you know that I like to go zone to zone. So I'm looking down here, I'm looking at this zone and basically I'm seeing this area. So the top of this blue line to the bottom of this blue line is going to be a zone that I see trading in. Okay. Now, what I ended up doing is if you've been following me on uh, Pinex, you saw, I'm hoping you saw that I ended up talking about my shoebox money. And this is part of my shoebox money right here. This is part of it. Okay. Um, so I, I took that shoebox money that you, you stash away for in case there's a giant dip and I kind of dump some of it out and um, I'm using it on this grid. Okay. So I would made I would have made this zone. So I'm gonna get rid of this bottom one because this is my lowest grid. This is my highest. Why is this one my highest? Well, because that's what I want to sell at. That I mean I probably should have made it somewhere in between um, if I was going probably around in this area. Actually, this is probably going to be the area. So about uh, about 0.175 is probably where I should have made it. But I went ahead and went with two and I'll I'll deal with the, the top later on. So if it comes up to like um, 
if it comes up to like 18 cents, I'll probably go ahead and just be like checking the charts, checking on the daily, making sure that it's not just getting ready to absolutely dump and watching it a little bit closer. So here we go. I ended up taking this and I see huge potential. It dropped quite a bit this um, during the day, during the last couple of days, it's dropped quite a bit. And at the same time, what I saw is it's riding this Bollinger Band down. Okay. Now, it, there's a really good chance, a really good chance. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not, I, I'm not going to ever not be honest with my viewers. <clears throat> there is a really, really good chance that it is going to go past this 0.085 and down into maybe, I don't know, maybe five cents way down here. I have no idea where it's going to stop. I like this zone simply because this is where kind of this area, but I could see it going down to six cents. But at the same time, that was a real quick wick and then it bounced back up. So I feel like this area is going to be a good area of support. This zone right here, it might need to be a little bit bigger, but I went ahead with it. I like it right there. I'm keeping it there. And that's where I started my bot. So what you potentially have, and this is just, let me get my ruler out. One thing that I like to do is I like to look at potential gains. So I'm down here, down at the bottom. My potential gain could be up to maybe 136% if it goes all the way up. Now, the thing that I like about grid bots is you are buying and selling that entire time. So it's not just 136% um, straight up. You could get less than that because you're not buying the whole way and you're not holding all the way up. You also could get more than that because as it goes up, it's going to buy, sell, buy, sell, buy. And as it goes up, it's going to keep buying and selling and buying and selling and buying and selling. And so you could get more. Now, if this wick or if this candle just shoots up, hey, I win. Okay. So that's, that's kind of my thinking behind this. So this is a trade that I have taken. Uh, if you guys are interested in it, I am getting ready to post it here in a little bit. I will end up posting um, an idea like, hey, check out my video for this. Um, I do like it because of my indicators that I'm using. The DCA oscillator, uh, which is great. It is a paid indicator. Let me know if you are interested in it and I can get you, um, I think it's, uh, I think it's 10% off if you say, if you, uh, refer grid by guru on it. And what ends up happening is I'm looking for a green dot right here. Now I can jump down and this is what I like to, this is what I like to see. So I'm on a daily right now. Everything's low. I'm on a four hour. Everything's low. I'm on a two hour. Everything's low. Okay. Everything's low on the 60 minute, 30 minute, 15 minute. And it looks like we're starting to head up on a 15. So I'm waiting for that to start turning around. Again, this is my lowest limit. So I'm kind of really skating by here. But at the same time, that's part of it. If it goes lower than 0 0.085, guess what? I'm going to hold. I'm going to let it ride out. Okay. All right, y'all. So that's one of the reasons why I don't ever trade tokens. And that's why I rarely ever use leverage. Um, the other day I did hit up Theta with, I think, times 2 or times 2.5 leverage. And I made out with like 30 bucks. But it was one of those where I was like, mm, I'm, I'm good with this. And I just took, took it and ran. I just cashed it out. Um, I was watching the charge pr pretty close during that time, though. All right, y'all. I'm hoping this is informational. Um, I'm hoping this helps you understand kind of my thought, my idea behind this trade and why I'm trading this 
um, this coin with such a s silly, silly name, um, Smooth Love Potion. Um, some, sometimes it just makes you shake your head. Anyway, if you're not part of Pinex, click the link below. If you're not a, if you're not a, a no, like if you don't know about my YouTube channel, please subscribe to it. Please get in on it. If you want to comment on it, feel free. Tell me, like, um, tell me, you know, oh, hey, man, I love your content. Tell me, hey, your content sucks. Either way, I, it doesn't matter to me. Um, I feel like I'm doing a great job. I feel like people are understanding. People are, are with it. People understand what I'm saying and why I'm doing it. I'm also on Pinex. If you search for me using the coin, like if you search for a coin and you type in Gridbot Guru, it will pop up as an influencer. You can click on that. You can click the bell. You can click subscribe. And anytime I post something, you're going to get notified about it. Okay. Those of you on iOS, you'll need to get the test flight app and then use the test flight option for that feature. Okay. I will say, that there is some pretty cool stuff coming down the pipe um, with Pinex. So if you are interested, keep it up. Keep getting that test flight. Stick with it. If you have trouble, let me know. Um, but there, there is some really cool stuff coming, guys. So, so go ahead and just hold on to your seat and, and have fun. As always, y'all, it is the weekend. Be careful of a dip. Okay, be careful of that weekend dip. And next week, this weekend, happy trading, and I hope you all stay green. I'll see you next time.